Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile, my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing what is in my four kids Christmas pajama boxes. This is a tradition that I started for our family years ago, five, six, maybe seven years ago. I know my older kids were like toddlers when I started this tradition. This was born from an idea that I saw on Pinterest that was uh, Christmas Eve boxes. And in those boxes were pajamas, popcorn, uh, a movie like a DVD for Christmas Eve and I thought how fun would that be to give to the kids when we're decorating our Christmas tree because I always give them their Christmas pajamas right after Thanksgiving and include some books because we love to read storybooks at Christmas time and some little treats and things like that so we started this tradition years ago we decorate our Christmas tree the weekend after Thanksgiving it's a whole big thing where we always order Chinese food takeout. It's kind of a funny tradition. And I give them their pajama boxes. So there are things like pajamas, books, activity books. There are treats, always something hot cocoa-y. Sometimes we do mugs. Sometimes we do like little uh, spoons for hot cocoa, all sorts of different little trinkets and an ornament. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got for my kids this year in their Christmas pajama boxes. It's kind of like the first gift of Christmas or our little kickoff to Christmas boxes. My kids are 12, 10, eight, and four, just for some reference here when I go over what's in their boxes. So all that being said, here is what is in my kids' Christmas PJ boxes this year. Okay, so cast of characters here. We have their pajamas for the year. I've got their ornaments here. And of course we have the boxes and the tissue paper. This year I got the boxes from Target and they're just cute. I, I like to not wrap the boxes just to add an extra step <laughs> because I don't usually have wrapping paper at this point in the season anyway. So if I can find a good seasonal box, that's a win. I've also got their books. Now I kind of collect books uh, from October on or so. And so I need to sort through and figure out which of these books are going in their pajama boxes and which of these books are going uh, away to go under the tree for St. Nicholas Day. We put uh, some candy in their shoes and then we put some books underneath their shoes on St. Nicholas Day. So some of these will be for their pajama boxes. Some of these will be just for our family and then some will be for St. Nicholas Day. And then some treats here, so some miniature candy canes. And then I bought these at Five Below. If you followed along last year, you know that I absolutely hated this trend, and so I was happy to see these uh, pre-made for Christmas this year. It was really, I had a, the hardest time in the world making these last year, so I bought some. And then I also bought these at Trader Joe's, and I think I'm gonna have to go with these because on occasion I'll buy the, the robe uh, boxes and something this thick will fit in it but this year I just bought t-shirt boxes so I'm already gonna have a hard enough time fitting things in there so I think I'll save these for St. Nicholas Day as well so we're gonna go with these hot cocoa sticks I believe the only thing missing from this box will be as you guys know I almost always do the little Debbie Christmas tree cakes and uh, those are not available in the store right now and they're ornaments and then I'm making one for my dog this year, which is just a uh, slightly embarrassing, but also my kids are going to love it. So I got him a little set of treats too. So I'm going to go ahead and get these assembled and then I will show you everything that's in each individual kid's box. Okay. They are all assembled here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Annabeth, who is our four year old. So like I said, they each have one of these hot cocoa stirring spoons. Now, typically every year we also get them new little Christmas mugs for the year, but last year I ordered a set of four Christmas mugs. One of them came a little cracked, and so I ordered a replacement, and I forgot to send the other one back, so I got charged for it like 30 days later. So we have 
seven, not eight, but seven of these little tiny marshmallow mugs that are so cute. So we really don't need any more because we also have all their mugs from years past. So this year we did not need mugs. I also, like I said, have little candy canes in here. Now, Annie's ornament this year. This is her little ornament. So cute. Um, she has just really, her little personality has come out so much in dance this year. She's danced for a few years now, but I thought that was a perfect one, ornament for her for the year. The Hannah, Hannah Anderson pajamas, like I said. And then here are her books. So I got her the Twinkly Twinkly Nativity, which lights up inside so you've got like this one and then as you turn the page there's more lights that light up she also has the twinkly twinkly christmas tree and the twinkly twinkly bedtime book so she likes those books she also has the little children's christmas activity book which is adorable and then construction site on christmas night I read a book with her every night at bedtime and almost every night she asks for the good night, good night construction site book. So I got her construction site on Christmas night this year. Thought she would really get a kick out of that. So that is Annie's box. Now, Eli. Eli's ornament this year is this little golf bag. It's actually the same colors as his personal golf bag too, which is perfect. He started golf this summer and he's been doing lessons all fall and it is just his favorite thing in the world. So I wanted to make sure we remembered this. So this is his ornament. And then same deal, same pajamas, hot cocoa, etc. He got the new Hey Jack book. He loved the Hey Jack series. They were so instrumental in him becoming a confident reader when he was five or six. And so there was a Christmas one that came out this year. So even though this is definitely like an easy read for him, he's gonna love it because he still likes to go back through the Hey Jack books every now and then. He got the Christmas puzzle pad. I got this for all of my older kids. They've done the Christmas activity book. So I got Annie that little children's Christmas activity book. There's one for older kids and they've already done that last year. So I didn't want to repeat it this year. So I got them this Christmas puzzle pad. And then the golfers night before Christmas. So this is really probably more for adults. I went through it. There's nothing inappropriate in there. So I just thought he would get a big kick out of that. So the golfers night before Christmas for Eli. And then Jesse. Same deal, same deal. His ornament is this little martial arts man. Now, Jesse and Eli both do karate and jujitsu, but Jesse in particular just absolutely lives for it. So I thought this would be the perfect ornament for him this year. And then he loves to write notes and encouraging like little messages and he's so sweet with it. He's always got something to stick in the mail for someone. So I got him these magic painting Christmas cards, which they just, you paint with water and it like, it uh, colors it in. And then he also got the Christmas puzzle pad. And then I got him Leah's star, which is new this year. It's a nativity story and it's told, you know, it's a fictional story, but it's, the nativity story told through the perspective of the innkeeper's daughter, which I thought was a good story for him this year. And then Isabella has the little surfing ornament. Now she and Jesse both surf, but again, surfing was kind of her favorite thing this year. Um, so she has this for the year. And then she also has the Christmas puzzle pad. I got her the Waiting for the Savior Advent workbook from, her the Advent study, this is the genealogy of Jesus and the hope of Christmas. This is from Daily Grace Co. So we've been working through some of the Daily Grace Co. studies together. So I have one for myself as well. So I got this for her. Then I got her the American Girl Holiday Baking Cookbook. She asked for cookbooks for Christmas this year, and so I thought I'd get her a Christmas cookbook just ahead of the season as well. She's really coming into her own in the kitchen, likes to kick me out and do things on her own now. So this has um, not only some recipes, but also some baking tips and techniques. So I thought that this would be perfect for her. And I think she's really gonna love it. I really honestly think she's gonna adore it. 
So that is what is for her. And then the dog. <laughs> so same pajamas from Hannah Anderson. I did get these on sale. They were 40% off. Plus I had a 15% off coupon. I, I, I mean, I'll never say never, but I'm also probably never going to actually pay like $50 for dog pajamas. So <laughs> got it on a really good sale. I also got him this for baby's first Christmas ornament for the kids. Obviously this is for the kids. And, um, then we got him some Santa snacks as well. So I think the kids are just going to get a huge kick out of him having a Christmas pajama box as well. I just think it's going to be so fun for them. So that is what is in their pajama boxes this year. You guys have to let me know if you do a tradition like this. I know this is a really common one to do on Christmas Eve. That is where this idea came from originally and I just decided to do it my own way, which is to do it the night we decorate our tree and have a little kickoff to the holiday season. So that's what's in my kids' boxes. Let me know what you put in your children's boxes if you do these as well and I will see you soon. Bye guys.